There's MP. And MP throws it down hard. Big flush from MP. A young player looking to make the highlight reel. Yo, there he is, the champ. Yo, What's good. What up, Pete? You wanted to see me, man? Oh uh, yeah, man. I want to talk to you about the off season. You know, um, since you got a lot of options, I wanted to pick your brain a little bit and see what you might be interested in getting into. Okay, great. So I know you got the whole training regimen in place, right? But not every day is spoken for. So the way I see it is, you got three things that I think can help you up your game, and those are uh, FIBA qualifying, open runs with NBA guys, and even more focused training on your own. Okay, you want me to unpack that for you? Yeah, but if you don't mind, keep it quick. You know what I mean? I got a date tonight. Uh, okay, okay, I see. Well, yeah. I promise I'll keep this short and sweet, all right? Appreciate it. So, obviously, you know you've got an open invite to play for Team USA. Yeah, they made official once we won the U19. Right, yeah. right. So, this year is a qualifier. I mean, we're qualifying whether you're there or not, but this is a chance for you to rope in some bigger names for the FIBA games, which are coming up in 2027. Yeah, how do you mean? Well, you got pulled with Team USA, so yep. if you say you want to invite Superstar X, mm -hmm. they'll invite Superstar X, right? Then if you guys, you know, play in the qualifier, have a good time, develop a relationship, right? he'll be more likely to play with you when it really counts in the FIBA games, right? Well, so, makes... you know, it's a long play, but it could be worth it depending on how much the FIBA games mean to you. Well, that makes sense. What are you thinking? How are you thinking? Well, I mean, you could also go the open run. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And how would that help me? Well, more relationship building. Invite guys from the team to help strengthen the bond mm -hmm. or guys from around the league to maybe recruit down the line in free agency. Shrewd. What's the third thing, man? Well, the third thing is basically more of what you're already up to. You know, focus training, individual workouts, stuff that helps improve your game and skills. What if I want to just chill on the few days that I don't have accounted for, man? Hey. Look, you can do that too, all right? This is your life, bro, and you know your body, so maybe you don't want to push yourself that hard, mm -hmm. right? But if you do want to push yourself as hard as I think you can, mm. one of these approaches could be really good for you. I see, I see. Come on, man, so what you thinking? All right, look, FIBA is important to me. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I have the best team possible when we're playing for gold in a few years. So I want to do the qualifier. Great. 
Well, I'll let them know, and I'll make sure to get you that list of guys so you can get it to the squad ASAP. Appreciate it, P. Absolutely. You know, I got you. Welcome everyone to 2K's coverage of FIBA basketball. It's a good one. The U.S. going against Canada in a qualifier bout between two North American heavyweights. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. Brent, a lot of talent on the floor tonight. Oodles of talent and a ton of pride. The U.S. is the dominant team in the world, but Canada would love to pull off this upset during FIBA qualifying. And Greg, as Brent just said, the winner here tonight can punch their ticket to the next FIBA tournament with a win. That's the cherry on top. Canada is loaded with talent these days and they would love nothing more than to shock the world with a win here over the U.S. Greg, when it comes to officiating, you hear players and coaches say, we just want a consistent whistle. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. And when it comes to international play, Greg, you hear a lot from NBA players about how different it is. And it's not just about the rules. It's a much more physical game. Officials aren't as quick to blow the whistle when things get rough inside. Facilitator, it helps that the defense thinks that Jay Gilgis Alexander is going to shoot and not pass. And the three ball is good. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Over Rozier, and Gilgis Alexander gets it to go. When you have a guard like Gilgis Alexander that fights inside, it can add some spunk to your team. The three from MP. Another three for USA. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Nemhard with it. MP's there. To the paint. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. When it comes to NBA players born outside the United States, Great Canada has the most all-time. Uh, that caught me by surprise. Yeah, for a long time, we've had some serious Canadian talent in the league, and it feels like with each passing year, we get even more great players from north of the border. And so here's Canada following the bucket by USA. Rozier against Gilgis Alexander. Rozier into the lane. Makes it off the glass. He's a competitor. He, even amongst the trees, Rozier has such confidence in his ability to finish. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Olenek, a screen on Rozier. Here's Gilgis Alexander. From down in the low post, it goes. Gilgis Alexander's got six. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Kicks to McCollum. Over Tatum. McCollum, no good. USA leading by four. Here's the three. Drains it from beyond the arc. And Brent, the one thing about Canada is that they've had the talent over the years, but they haven't always realized their full potential. I think that's mostly due to the competition, Kevin. FIBA has so many good teams and it's really tough to go all the way to get the job done and stand on top of that podium. But what I love about watching Canada 
is that they can beat anyone on any given night, and these young guys believe. No surprise why AD has led the league in blocks before. Amazing creativity on the fly from MP. On the wing, Rogier. And it's slammed in by Davis. And so it's MP making things happen for USA. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. We'll get you back to the action after this break. All right, folks, one quarter down, three to go, as USA will take on Canada as the FIBA qualifiers continue. And so Sexton will bring it up for USA. USA moving the ball around. Here comes MP, and the dunk by MP. Well, you love to see the athleticism that MP is developing here. Good. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. For Canada, they've gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Michael Conley, he's checked in for MP. It's USA in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. Right back after this break. And here we are back from halftime. Canada versus USA. The FIBA qualifiers getting started back up. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. Here's MP. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. MP's got 17 now. No one missing. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot at. USA leading by 20. Launches it. The three-pointer is right on target. MP's got 22 points. And you see MP just continue to develop here, nailing those catch-and-shoot chances. That's big. Here's Gilgis Alexander. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting 5 for 11 now. Gilgis Alexander following the three-point attempt by MP. That one falls. Gilgis Alexander's got four this quarter. And we're all too familiar with these kind of outbursts from SGA. Gilgis Alexander's gone an even 50% from the field, shooting 6 for 12. The drive by MP. Floats it up there for Gilgis Alexander. Here's MP. And MP throws it down hard. Big flush from MP, a young player 
looking to make the highlight reel. Faster to get open spots. McCollum, no good. McCollum's gone 3 of 10 shooting so far, only 30%. MP deciding where to go with it. Count the basket. MP's got 15 points in just the second half. And they're allowing him to settle in. Now, here's MP. He has 30. It's Davis on the wing. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. He's got 13. And Rozier pulls it down. Uh, the defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Here's McCollum. Following the basket by MP. McCollum with the ball. He's got nine. It's Nemhard on the wing. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Nemard's got 10 points. That's pretty unselfish there. He sees that there's a better shot on the perimeter and bang, just kicks it out. Sinks the three-pointer. MP showing you have to stay connected to him the moment he crosses half court. With the fadeaway. No good on that one. And so it's MP making things happen for USA. And he continues to torment them from three-point range. A total of five threes for him in the game now. Back right after this. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. Here we've got the fourth quarter now as the United States and Canada continue to clash in this FIBA qualifier. Yo, yo, watch Mike. USA making a change here. MP's checked in. And Canada making a change here as well. Nemhard's checked in. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for USA. They're looking to attack and transition every time down the floor. Just wearing the defense thin at this point. Well, something else I've seen from them in this game is just how quick they are to capitalize on a turnover. I mean, they're pouncing on that stuff. And you got to be careful when you're handling the ball around them. Canada's ball. Murray, the pass to Barrett. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Beyond the arc. Knocks down the three ball. Yeah, Barrett had some time to focus there. And he made that one count. Hey, pick up MP. Conley, the pass to MP. That's in there. Conley with the assist. It's Alexander. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Gilgis Alexander against MP. And the dunk by MP. This whole second half, he's been unbelievable scoring the basketball. The defense has had literally no effect. McCollum outside, takes the three. It's good from long range. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make them pay. Here's MP. Oh! oh. Here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. The shots. Now, here's Monk. USA moving the ball around. And here's MP for three. Connects from three-point range. Now here's McCollum. Five on the clock. And here's Olenek from the arc. That's in. Coming off the assist from McCollum. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but... Do it when it matters. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall. Oh, it's stolen by Carter. And, and thought that pass was going to get through, but no. All of a sudden, he was going the other way with the basketball. Yep, that one goes in there. Making every effort to put this game on ice. 
Boy, I'd love to see him just get a smidge closer to the basket. Once he sees a few shots go in from there, that might open up everything from distance. What execution. MP getting up high for that finish. Gilgis Alexander with it. So no problem for USA as they get the win. And you always knew that the U.S. was going to be a tough matchup, but give them credit. They came out and were relentless, and they've secured their spot in the FIBA tournament. Oh, Bray, you got to applaud the effort of both sides, but the depth and talent on this USA team is hard to compete with. And truly, that's the big difference here. The U.S. has the superstars at the top of the roster, but there's little to no drop-off as they get to their bench. It's very hard to compete with that depth of talent. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. So, for Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Kevin Harlan, thanking you for joining us. So long, everyone.